Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my November beauty favorites. It's not a lot that I have here. I'm gearing up for my Best of Beauty 2016, which I'll be um, filming at the end of December. That's always my favorite, number one favorite video to film every year because it is the best of the best. Like every single product that I have absolutely loved for the entire year in that video. I try not to make it a huge video, but I end up loving a lot of products, but I try to pare it down as much as possible to the things that I simply like blew my mind. I already have a list. Like I start my list in my phone in January. Like every time I find a product, I just add it to that list. And the list is like getting longer and longer and longer. So if you've never checked out any of my best of beauty videos, be sure to um, take a look back at my old prior ones. I did one for 2015 and I believe 2014. I don't think prior to that I did one. Okay, so November, beauty favorites. Let's talk about it. A body brush. Have you guys ever tried these? You ever heard of a body brush or tried a body brush? I had, I've heard about it, talked about before and seen it in like magazines over the years. And I was watching Rachel Ray the other day, like randomly it came on after whatever show I was watching, Oh Live with Kelly in the morning and Rachel Ray came on and I was working and that kind of thing. And I look up at the TV and the doctor is talking about dry brushing. And I was like, I gotta, I gotta try this. So I went to Net-A-Porter and I ordered this dry brush and I'll make sure to link it below. And so the benefits of dry brushing are obviously exfoliation. I mean, something like this on your skin, that's going to exfoliate your skin. Um, increasing circulation, helping with skin texture. Um, the increasing circulation was the one that I really kind of was, was interested in and thought, cause it's really good with like, I think lymphatic drainage. So how I do it is I do it in upward motions and I do it dry. So dry brushing. So I do it, I step away from my um, shower, like where the water's coming out and I'll do it before I get in the shower. So the shower will be not running, but like right before I get into the shower, like I'll be in my, um, in my little shower area and I'll just kind of go softly up. Like I'll just do in, in upward strokes. I can stand do my back though, because it's like really hard for me to get like the um, very, very back of me. And let me tell you, it's, if you have exceptionally sensitive skin or, you know, you're bothered by like feels, certain feels and that sort of thing, like maybe wool sweaters or something, this is, it takes some getting used to. And let me tell you afterwards, my skin was very like prickly. It felt that way for even a few hours afterwards, it felt very prickly. And I don't know whether that was just because it was stimulating my circulation or the lymphatic drainage or who knows, but I have really enjoyed it. And I love the exfoliation that it gives my skin and my skin just looks, you know, great after doing it. I've been doing it only for a few weeks and, but I just love the feeling of it. To be honest, I really, it's a really uh, nice feeling. It doesn't, you know, irritate my skin or anything. All right, hair product, whey. I've been loving a lot of whey products. I've tried the shampoo and conditioner, which I really love. And then this, the texturizing hairspray. First of all, I have to first talk about the scent. The scent of this stuff, uh, whey people, please, or Jen Atkin, is that her name? Jen Atkin, Atkinson, Atkin. Um, I need you to make this in a fragrance. Please, please, please. The way that this stuff smells, the way, the way that whey smells, <laughs> it is the most pleasant. I thought Orbe products smelled good. Mm, this almost edges out over them. It's just the most sweet, pleasant, like my hair smells so fragrant. And the thing is, it's a texturizing hairspray, so it's very lightweight. And I kind of spray it over after I'm done kind of curling my hair. And I just love the way it's not a super hold hairspray. It just, it obviously gives it a lot of movement, but it's a great texturizer because my hair is very fine and also very smooth. So I have a hard time sometimes. My hair takes a curl well, but it can be too smooth. And using a texturizing hairspray, like on my hair before I curl it, really helps my hair to kind of get some grip and hold the curl a little bit better. So, but this one I really like. It's not, it's not a dry shampoo. It's just, it is just a hairspray, but I use it more of like a texturizer and it also helps to obviously hold my curls in place and tame flyaways and all that sort of thing. But the scent, get it for the scent and then, you know, bonus that it's a really good product. All right, a retinol product, the Dermalogica Overnight Retinol Repair. 
I've talked about this product before in my retinol video. It's one that I just recently discovered. I've had it in my cabinet for a while and I finally kind of pulled it out to start using it. Very strong, definitely need to build up to this. But I, it does wonders for like retexturizing, breaking up dark spots, like poorly pyraminimized, like my skin just looks overall smoother, brighter, more even tone. But like I said, really uh, do a patch test with this. It comes with a buffer cream so that you can actually mix this with their buffer cream to help buffer, you know, the, the cream from, you know, um, initially irritating your skin normally like one part cream, three parts buffer. I only needed the buffer cream for like a week or two weeks because I started with like once a week and then I went to twice a week. I don't do it any more than three to four times a week because I find that's a little too much retinol for me. But really enjoy this one from Dermalogica. I'll just like throw it over here. All right, a fragrance. I've got two fragrances in here. Talking about hair fragrances, I finally, I don't know why I've never tried. I've tried a ton of Orbe products, but I've never tried the Orbe scent. So this is the rollerball version, but I was like, where have I been? This is the most beautiful. If you are looking for fresh, just got out of the shower, not, uh, you know, just got out of the shower, I'm full of soap, but like that really fresh springtime clean shower scent. This Orbe fragrance is to die for. Like I, this is what it smells like on me. Like when I put it on, it's a little sweet, but it's sweet in a very fresh way. Like I always feel like it should be springtime and I've just taken a shower and the sun is shining. That's kind of what this fragrance kind of makes me feel like when I put it on. I don't know why it took me so long to try it and I'm really glad I did. Now I need to get the larger size. All right, another fragrance that I love and I pulled it out for fall again and kind of fell back in love with it is their Guerlain Mon Exclusive. Exclusive? I'll link it below. But it looks, this is a little bow fragrance by Guerlain. Very sweet. Um, kind of, yeah, it's sweet but not too vanilla-like. It's a little bit sweet mixed with, hmm, I don't know, when it's on my skin, it smells a little bit bourbon-y sweet, but not too musky. And it's like kind of more sweet florally mixed with kind of like a little bourbon on my skin. And for the fall, I have just been, I mean, every day I'm like spritzing this all over. And it lasts really well throughout the day. And, but I like it because it's not a only fall winter scent, let's say. It's a little bit um, heavier and richer but this is something that I could wear into the spring. Maybe not the summer, but definitely like fall, winter, early spring. Okay, this, I, this has been sitting in my closet or in my kind of skincare cabinet for quite some time. And I pulled it back out again. And after I've been using it now for a few weeks and I was like, I've got to talk about this in my favorites video. This is phenomenal. The Renutri by Estee Lauder. It's their ultimate diamond transformative energy cream. I mean, first of all, it was like transformative energy cream? Like eye roll emoji, like what does that mean? All I know is the Renutri line is quite pricey. It's definitely Estee Lauder's premium line. And a lot of people, you know, may not, they may splurge on their skincare, but maybe they stick to like La Paris or Sicily. I was, very impressed by this cream so much so that it has pretty much been all I've been using in the evening and what I like about it is it's very rich and that's kind of what initially turned me off I have like sorry I have like a hair on my forehead it's like bothering me what I initially what I love about it now is what initially turned me off about it, it was very very rich and I was like it's going to be too rich too oily for my skin however it is one of those rich creams that gets onto your skin and immediately absorbs and leaves your skin kind of fresh, plump, supple, but not greasy. And I noticed that the next morning, my skin was very plump, um, supple, fresh, radiant, but very even. Like my oil production was very even. Um, sometimes I wake up very oily if the product I'm using, I don't know, is not right for me. My skin was very balanced. It was very even. Like I can suffer from redness sometimes in my forehead and right around my cheeks and that and whatnot. 
I woke up, my skin was very calm and there was hardly any redness. And I just noticed that the more that I use this, I have seen those benefits continue. Like my redness tends to go away for most of the day. And yeah, I mean, it's an anti-aging cream. So obviously the benefits also is gonna be like, you know, some firming and with anti, um, with any type of issues with fine lines or wrinkles. Those aren't totally my issues, though I do have some forehead, you know, lines and, and whatnot. But I have really loved how it's just, my skin consistently looks great every single day after using this. And I had a little kind of like irritated patch on my face. I talked about that before. It was like a little, almost like a little eczema patch. I couldn't really figure out what it was. It's gone now. But as it was starting to go away, I was hesitant to use any products on it. So I would kind of like put my skincare and like not put it on that little patch. But I started using this. I was like, all right, I'm going to let that go on the patch. And it didn't irritate that dry kind of red patch and it actually helped to heal it even faster. So I have just been, and a little bit will go a long way. So while this is a pricey cream, I just need like a, boop, just a smallest little pea size amount to cover my whole face. And I like to kind of rub it into my hands and warm it up a little bit and then just press it into the skin. That's how I like to apply it. All right, I gotta talk about a candle. And with this candle comes the most amazing news. The Nest Pumpkin Chai Candle. Do y'all have this candle? Do you? If you don't, I, I, need you to, I need you to get yourself to a Nest, place they sell Nest, or just go online and get yourself a small one of this. Because this is what you want your house to smell like. It, it's a probably a more fallish candle, but I, I, I would like my house to smell like this all the time. It smells like a pumpkin spice latte and not an annoying, gross Starbucks one, even though I do like those. So, but, but you know, like an overly sweet kind of artificial scent. Mm -mm. It is just pumpkin-y and cinnamon and sweet, but very natural smelling rather than artificial. I mean, Ness kills it. You guys know I've, I'm a huge Ness fan. I've been a Ness fan for many years. They're Moroccan amber candle, Oof. like to die for. Anyway, so they sent this to me and in the box, it was in a box and then the little note said, this is our new subscription service. And I was like, what? A candle subscription service? I, my mind was blown. So it's launching soon. I don't have the exact details actually when it's launching, but if you go on their website and I believe um, sign up for their newsletter or their updates or whatnot, they'll let you know when the um, subscription service is launching. But I thought, how fun. I think it's a monthly one. Um, but I thought it'd be so fun, you know, a candle subscription service of different scents throughout the year, kind of mirroring whatever time of the year it is. And anyway, pumpkin, the pumpkin chai, you just need to get it. It's, it's that good. Um, all right. Now I'm going to talk about a quick update on a product that I featured before in, have I featured it? No, I've talked about it that I, that I purchased this product and I haven't given an update yet or used in a tutorial. And I've been kind of disappointed. And, and all right, let's just talk about it. It's the La Mer Illuminator for the face. I mean, it's gorgeous. The packaging is, I mean, the packaging is absolutely stunning. I really had high, high hopes for this because the bronzer blew my mind. Absolutely beautiful, the limited edition bronzer. This one, I was really hoping to kind of like have it be like just my holy grail, you know, illuminator for the face. It, I don't know. It's, it's when I use, and I've, I've heard people, I've, I've read comments on social media on different Instagrams and that sort of thing saying how people like, it's gorgeous. It's amazing. And I'm like, why don't I like it? It's okay. And I put it like on the tops of my cheekbones sometimes. And I just don't feel like it glides into my skin. Like, like let's say an hourglass or the clay to Poe fa luminizing face enhancer. Or what's another highlighter that I absolutely love? The Tom Ford one is really beautiful. And I just didn't feel like it did. And the color didn't really show up too much in my skin. I don't know. I'm kind of bummed because it was, you know, it was really pricey, like exceptionally pricey. But I do use it. It's not like I'm just gonna be like, oh, well, I'm just gonna let it sit. Like I use my products. <laughs> like I spend $130 on it. I know, I know. Um, but I definitely, I use it. I try to use it almost every day to see if it like will just grow on me. 
and it's it's not like I said it's mediocre at best for me but a lot of you but I have read a lot of other comments that say they love it so I don't know take my word for it don't take my word for it and try it yourself sometimes it's just it's all personal some people love a product that I don't like and vice versa but those are my November beauty favorites stay tuned in about a month because my best of beauty 2016 is coming out and it's a good one um, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.